What is up, everyone? So this is video number two in our little 2022 Major League Baseball Absolute Baseball Series. So we just finished opening up a hobby box for Absolute. Now we're going to do this right here, a blaster. Uh, let me do a correction on that hobby box. I said $130 last time on that hobby box. It was $160. This is $25. So big price difference. But on this one right here, we, are, we have six packs seven cards a pack so 42 cards we are looking for one autograph or memorabilia card per box on average i'm going to already let you know when this happens and it's an or i generally get mem cards which not what i'm looking for uh we have on here uh, unwrap six green parallels per box on average two lava parallels per box on average so those are the things it looks like that we're chasing. Anything else? No, nothing else. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, wonderful evening. Uh, as always, I'm watching my angels here. It is 0-0 against the Orioles in the top of the third. Trout's up with a full count. And he fouls it off. Fouls it off. So what should you do? Should you buy a hobby box for Absolute? Should you buy a blaster? Let's see. Let's see. I'll go over exactly what I think at the end of this. Packs look different this time around. Empty box. Okay, let's wish us luck. Let's wish us luck. Fouled off again. Here we go. Last video I was cooking. I cook breakfast um, for my dinners, so I was cooking the bacon. Right now I am cooking the diced potatoes. So, and when I'm done with this video, I'll do the little scrambled eggs. That'll be my breakfast. Okay, here we go. This is what, so the other, uh, just as a comparison, the other, uh, with the hobby box, they were all chrome, like bit of cards. These ones, same exact look, except they're not chrome, paper. Okay, so Luis Roberts, right there. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm a big fan. Big fan of this guy. We got Albert Pujols, the former Angel, former Cardinal, now a Cardinal again. Wearing Dodger blue, kind of weird, but that's what happens. That's what happens. Jacob DeGrom, one of the best pitchers in all of baseball, right there. We got an Icons, our first Icons card. We didn't get one in the other one, but we got one here. Aaron Judge, who's having himself a monster year. Bet on himself. Looks like he did a good job there. Okay, we got our first green. So greens, you can see in the top right-hand corner, Absolute has that little green logo there. JD Martinez, professional batter. Kind of a weird term. These are all professionals, but professional batter. We got a green, we'll separate the greens. We got a Rod Carew. Former Angel, Twin. And our final card in that pack is Trevor Story. Had a slow start, but it looks like he's uh, picked it back up. Signed that big contract. Puts pressures on, puts a lot of pressure on players when you sign those kind of contracts, especially in a city like Boston. Uh, baseball's big there, so I can only imagine. Okay, we got pack number two and it looks like we got a what did I tell you did I tell you that usually when it says autograph or mem I get a mem look at that's a thicky it's probably not going to be a auto so first card we got here Robbie Ray Seattle next one pretty good one there Mookie Betts it's on my fantasy team I know he's a Dodger but fantasy can't be biased got to pick the best available at the time and our tools of the trade we got tools of the trade in our hobby box we got tools of the trade here it is our mem card i'm gonna mispronounce this name alijo that's what i'm gonna go with alijo lopez second baseman and let's see what this looks like oh oh very nice very very nice that's a pretty cool signature that is a good signature it would not get a 10 because that little line underneath is faded and 
I've learned my lesson with faded autos when you send them in for grading. And it's numbered to 99, so that's very, very nice. Not a fan of the napkins. Not a fan of the napkin uh, patches, but you know what? I'll take, it's hard to complain when it was supposed to be a mem or a mem or an auto and I got both on one card and it's numbered to 99. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. So we're going to put it, this is a thicker card, so we're putting it in a thicker sleeve. And there we go. There we go. That is our card to hit or to beat. Um, 180 is what I'm putting these in as far as top loaders, but there's some room on there. It's just, it doesn't bunch up. I can just put some tape on there, but it just doesn't bunch up with this, the, the thicker sleeve. So there we go. Uh, Trey Turner on our first extreme team card. Some nice color there. That's what the back looks like. We now got another green on the rookie class on the Tyler McGill. No Met fans are, are big on him. So the green, I don't know. Yeah, there you can see it on the bottom. Very nice. So we have two greens so far. And then we have future Hall of Famer, Yair. His brother was an angel too, uh, Benji and Jose. Benji and Jose both uh, played on that 2002 Angels World Series team. And then we got Max Scherzer to finish it off. So very nice. Very nice. Man, I'm stoked for a blaster box. Blaster box? I got an auto? 25 bucks? Okay, come on, Taylor. Taylor Ward's up. He just got uh, in the mail uh, one of his one of his autos one of his auto cards. Okay, we got Sh Shoeless Joe Jackson right there, an oldie. Shane Bieber there. Guardians. Got Salvador Perez. Quite an imposing figure as a catcher. Big guy. Got our first st statistically speaking, and that's a Randy a Rosarina. Does it look like on the back? That's what it looks like on the back. You can see some of these cards kind of hard with the edges with the color on them. First green in this pack is a Corey Seeger. Corey Seager. If, uh, if you want to watch a funny video, um, if it's kids watching, not as funny because of language, but Jared Weaver uh, describes his encounter with Corey Seager's brother. Um, it's quite funny, quite funny for me. So if you want to check that out, uh, look that up. Um, yeah, Jared Weaver ends up beaming his brother and um, his description of it was kind of funny. Roger Clemens, Roger Clemens with Houston. I remember when he was with Houston, I, I believe he had a contract where he just, he didn't have to travel. He just pitched home games, it was crazy, crazy. I don't think I've seen that since. Cody Bellinger, belly on our last card. Yeah, that's crazy. Think of a, is there players out there right now that they would sign contracts like that for? I don't know, it's kind of hard because it, uh, he's been doing it so long. Teams were willing to accommodate that. I think Roy Oswald was on that team too. Okay, we got our first base, Jose Altuve, also on my fantasy team. Not a fan of his team, um, but again, fantasy baseball, you gotta just pick what's gonna help you. He's also on my team, Jazz Chisholm. I believe he's a junior, right? But uh, yeah, he's on my team. Has a lot of style, flair, can play too. So I like it. I like it. Second year. Okay, we got a Aussie Albies, the world champs. And uh, I think that's a lava. Looks like a lava. That's what that looks like. Not numbered but we'll put him up there because that's a cool looking card. We got rookie of the year last year, Jonathan India by Storm. 
Reminds me of the NFL packs. I haven't got one of these yet. That's what the back looks like. I guess this would be considered a green. Our first historical duos. Duos. Duels. Sorry. Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle on the green. That's what the back looks like. And to finish it off, we got Roy, we got Roy Campanella and Eloy, Eloy with the socks. Okay, two more packs, two more packs, 14 more cards to go. Yeah, the lava ones are pretty cool. Look nice. Okay, first card on here. Matt Chapman on the Toronto Blue Jays came from the A's. Good third baseman. Glad that he's not in the West anymore. Cedric Mullins, we're playing this team right now. Second year. I like this guy. Play center field for the Orioles. Looks good. Looks good. Again, Orioles are doing some good stuff over there. I think you give them a year or two here. They're gonna be contenders as long as they stay healthy. Work on their pitching. They should be good. Anthony Rizzo. All-time Cub, now he's a New York Yankee. Got a rookie class, rookie class on the Aaron Ashby. Got our first green in this one. I got a Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, patch on the hobby box and we got a green Ken Griffey Jr. Look at that swing. Look at that finish. Trout running down one at center, playing the old position of Jr. What was that movie? It's about the Minnesota Twins, and uh, it's the first movie that I remember watching where the team that you're rooting for in the movie ends up losing at the end because Griffey robs a home run. I forget what that movie was, but uh, yeah. Junior was the man. Do Josh Donaldson. Saw him do a nice bare hand today on highlights in Boston, and then we have an Alex Bregman also on my fantasy team. Okay, we have one more pack, one more pack. Okay, got two-time MVP, last year's MVP for the NL, Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. We got all-time great closer for the Yankees. This feels thicker, but it's not. Um, Mariano Rivera, that world-class cutter right there. Okay, we got our first, this color, is a lot of color on this one. Texas Ranger, Pudge, Ivan Rodriguez, Hall of Famer. And this is Texas Hall of Wor Hall Worthy, Hall Worthy card. It's not numbered, that's what the back looks like. Put a bunch of color on that. It looks like a lava. It looks like the second lava in this box. Very cool, a lot of color. Cards aren't thick, uh, besides that auto patch. We got a second historical duels, but this one with Junior and A-Rod. Man. Seattle with those two. Ugh. Wait, what was the other guys? Edgar Martinez, Jay Buhner, Randy Johnson. Oh, what a team. What a team. Got our green for this pack with the Yadier. Got our Molina on the icons. We got a Juan Soto, who I heard turned down a $350 million contract. So I don't know what this guy's getting, but he's, uh, he's a good one. And then, does anyone remember how this guy used to enter the field? Ozzy Smith, slick shortstop, doing that that flip, that back flip to, to short. But that is it. That is it. So we did get uh, we got an auto and a patch on our one card. Um, it was supposed to be an auto or a patch. I thought it was going to just be a patch. We got an auto and we got a patch and we got it numbered to 99. We got two lavas on there. We got 
one, two, three, four, five, six greens. Um, so this costs 25 bucks, 25 bucks for this one, still probably taking an L on it, but not that big of an L. I will say I thought the hobby box we were going to be a little bit better on. I, I looked at comps and really we the hits that we got were nothing. Um, we got a booklet in that one. So if you haven't seen that video yet, take a look at it. But that's the booklet. Uh, 20, 25 bucks at best. It's out of 60. It's a cool looking card, but nothing nothing crazy. We ended up getting a bunch. We had eight, eight numbered cards in there, all under 200, so 199. Ay, 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 ay. Um, but yeah, the comps on the cards were anywhere from five to fifteen dollars. So took a pretty big L considering that was one hundred and sixty bucks. Uh, this one's twenty five, and let's just say the Lopez. It's a rookie. Let's just say that it goes for five bucks. Um, we're down twenty. I will say the hobby box was fun. The hobby box was fun just because it was like you got a decent amount of hits in there. Um, it's just the value is not there. The value is not there. So uh, I would, knowing what I know now, I probably won't do any more absolute. Uh, again, I like the, I like having the licensing. I like the logos, all that kind of stuff. So, but I like to just see what these look like. So we did two. We did a blaster. We did a uh, hobby. I don't know. It just depends on what you're looking for. If you want to get some autos. Uh, there's two autos in the hobby box. We ended up getting three. <sighs> that's cool. And then the numbers. There's sticker autos. That's the other thing. I wish the, the cards were. And that was blaster or hobby. But yeah, that was it. That was it. I, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you thought was better, the blaster or the hobby box. Um, let me know if you've got one of, the, one of the, the absolute blasters, megas, hobbies, and if you had any good hits on there. But uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging in there and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Try to do this as many as I, or as many rips as I can, just to show everyone what different types of cards looks like. I'm gonna do it anyway, so I figured, you know, I'll I'll do this talk. You can be here as you watch me watch the angels just continue to go down and down and down. We have the All Star break, so something to help me get through this. But. Yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging in there. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. So if you are a card collector, good luck on your next rip. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace.